A useful galvanic cell can be constructed by using zinc and copper. The anode is a zinc bar placed into a zinc sulfate solution. And the cathode is a copper bar placed into a copper two sulfate solution. The two solutions are connected by a porous sodium chloride salt bridge that prevents the two solutions from mixing but allows ions to migrate. Attaching a voltmeter to the cell shows that electrons flow from zinc to copper. The voltmeter reads 1.103 volts. Because zinc is a more active metal than copper, it is more likely to lose electrons. For this reason, the zinc bar is oxidized, producing a zinc ion and two electrons per zinc atom. The copper ions in solution gain two electrons and are reduced to copper metal. As the reaction continues, excess positive zinc ions build up in the zinc solution. At the same time, the loss of copper ions from the copper sulfate solution creates an excess of negative sulfate ions. Positive sodium ions migrate into the copper sulfate solution from the salt bridge, while negative chloride ions migrate from the salt bridge to the zinc solution and maintain neutrality of the solutions. The reaction stops when the zinc bar or copper ions are depleted. The overall cell reaction can be written like this.